goalkeeper, number one, Matteo Barzola. And defender, number five, Lucas Gravely. At midfield, number six, Johnny Lynn. At midfield, number 10, Victor Lobby. At midfield, number 12, Chris Inman. Forward, number 14, King Andres Pegar. At defender, number 15, Doug Gordy. At midfield, number 18, Jay Quinn. At midfield, number 21, Casey Brady. At defender, number 26, Shores Van Eck. At defender, number 36, Joe Sieber. Crusaders are coached by Chad Gefeller, assisted by Kyle Walton. At this time, we ask that you please rise for the invitation and remain standing as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Let's pray. Dave, goodness Lord, thank you for the many blessings you provide for us, God. Keep safe out there tonight, Lord, and safe travels for the away team as they leave, Lord. Ultimately, let us all play for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray. sportsmanship from student athletes, coaches, and spectators. It is our request that you support the officials and participants in this contest in a positive manner. Right. Profanity, racial, or sexist comments, and the derogatory actions directed no. at the athletes, coaches, officials, or team representatives will not be tolerated as far as the rules of the Pepsi State. Tobacco products and or alcoholic beverages are not permitted anywhere on campus. Thank you for your cooperation. We hope you enjoyed today's match. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, for another great night for NGU soccer. We've got clear skies as North Greenville prepares to take on the Columbia International University Rams. Uh, this game originally supposed to be played at Columbia International, but due to the week-long rains and heavy flooding, the heavy flooding the mid to lower part of the state is experiencing, the game was moved up to here at Tigerville so that they could get this one in. Also, I'd like to mention to help out the flood victims in the mid and lower part of the state, North Greenville has a trailer. Uh, the athletics program has a trailer that you can donate items to that they will send down here in just a few days, so keep that in mind as the soccer game goes on. As we are underway, and North, 
and North Greenville looking to start quickly against the Columbia International Rams. The Rams in all blue, North Greenville in white and black. North Greenville bringing in a two and seven record, Columbia International and even 500 with four wins and four losses. There's a throw in from the far side for North Greenville. Now Columbia will look for their first offensive touches. The Rams trying to break free. There's a foul as Columbia International crosses the midfield stripe. Number 23 was Maskim Yakovenko out of Irpin, Ukraine. Getting some touch, early touches for the Rams on that early challenge. North Greenville's defense, anchored by Shores Venick, Lucas Gravely, two of the defenders back there. You've also got number 15, Doug Cordy. And number 36 is Joe Seavers. We are defensive back four. Number nine, Tyler Smith. And number 14, Nathan Green. The two furthest defenders back for Columbia International. The Rams in no rush right now to get it downfield, and they let it go out of bounds, so North Green will have a throw in from the far side. We have another signal from the head referee. It's like a foul called over there on the far side. The Rams will get it back. Well, they have a throw in. Like Greenville might have just lost the ball out of bounds instead, so Rams just get it back. Looking to the left wing, number 18, Guillermo Arc Ruiz. Greenville able to head it away, try and work something downfield, but it goes out of bounds just in front of Number six, Johnny Lind. Also the foremost attacker for North Greenville. Number 14, Andre Sakar. We'll look to pressure the Rams. And here come the Rams trying to work down the left wing. Vanek, make sure, make sure to stall, make sure he can stall them. As the ball goes out of bounds, Rams have a throw in and this one's gonna be a long throw in looking for the box. And just headed over the neck. Good net. Good awareness by Seavers. And Brazola, the keeper for North Greenville as well. So we'll have our first corner of the game. The Rams will take it from this near side. Early scoring opportunity. As everybody forms up in the box, they are stacking everybody at the goal line. about all 22 players for both, all 22 players clustering right in there at the line. That official having to get something straight. Here comes the corner, it's a line drive kick, bounced and headed away. And now here comes a shot in and it's gonna sail over the crossbar from one of the Ram defenders. So shot will sail high over the crossbar, no goal yet. Five, approaching five minutes in. Columbia International didn't even hide what they were trying to do. They stacked the box and that's exactly what they went for. Almost got it off the ricochet. But now, goal kick for the Crusaders. Now the Rams get it right back. Now they're looking to the left wing. Number 16, Jed Blanchett. Has Vanek all over him and Blanchett can't keep it in bounds. Go out of bounds and another goal kick for Bazola. All right. 
Take away for Bazola. North Greenville looking for some space on this right wing. And Vanek again on defense, pressuring Blanchett. Some confusion on whose ball it is. Linesman says North Greenville ball and the Crusaders get it. Now there's Vanek with some fancy foot moves. Has it stolen away by number 22, Paul Grandesarpio. Out of Ecuador for the Rams. They go all the way across field and it's lost out of bounds and a throw in for the Rams. And a mistimed pass. North Greenville brings pressure, but number 12, Chris Inman, I'm able to get to it. So Rams get away with one there. Now they have some space on the right wing, and they'll look to move up. Good passing in the middle part of the field. Now they shift it back to the wing. Good challenge there on the right wing and North Greenville battles hard and gets the ball. The ball back with number 18, Jake Quinn. Here comes North Greenville again after the kick from Brazola. The Rams steal the pass away. And here comes Columbia International. Pass right down the middle part of the field. They have a man. Here comes a shot into the box. And Vanek able to get rid of it in time. It will be a corner, though, from the far side for the Rams. Good defense. Crusaders had more men downfield. But they were, they were on, they were on the defensive. So this time the Rams shift most of their men back, and now here comes the cross into the box, headed up and away by a Crusader, and another line drive kick right to Brazola. Number twenty-two, Grandes Sarpio had a shot, but Brazola able to hang on to it. We're going to have to see how the Crusaders get through the midfield. As this one sent high and wide and way out of bounds into the brush. Good luck finding that one. We remain scoreless. It just seems like the Crusaders have been struggling in the midfield. The middle defenders have been able to steal the ball away or at least redirect the passes every time the Crusaders have gotten there. Ball bouncing out of bounds again on the far side. Throw in for MGU. That one blocked by a ram and headed away by another. And Vanek sends it back the other way. Is able to find one of his teammates. And Sakar with a good back heel. The ball's loose into the box. And the keeper for Columbia International will have to come and save that one. The keeper tonight for the Rams, number one, Stephen. Replogel out of Landstuhl Atzel, Germany. And again, Columbia International able to knock that one away from number 21, Casey Brady. Now a shot way down the field, trying to find that left wing and look for Blanchett. Led him too far, it goes out of bounds. Goal kick for Brazola. 
Columbia International is playing really fast pace. Whenever they do end up getting the ball, they go downfield almost immediately. Crusaders are going to have to work to slow that down. That was number 10, Victor Lobby, trying to go down the middle to Sakar. Columbia International deflected it, and now they work, work the right wing, number 22, Grandesarpio. North Greenville able to bat it away for the moment. Lobby all, goes all the way back on defense, and the Rams will get their third corner of the game already. 34 minutes left to play in the first half. So only 11 in. And now here comes a shot in the box. Bounced out by number 18. Jay Quinn deflects it out. Now North Greenville trying to get a run together. And they find a man here on the right wing. It's number 12. He chips it up. That was Inman. Now here on the far side of the box, headed back in, and Columbia International able to clear it. And they will keep it in bounds as well. North Greenville deflects that one, and Sakar still battling hard forward. Runs into the Columbia International defender, and the Rams will get it back. Over there as the head official blew his whistle on that foul. Columbia International loses it out of bounds on the right wing. So North Greenville will get a throw in back on the other side of the midfield stripe. And this one cleared away for the moment. North Greenville able to head it back in. Quinn gets a hand of it. Now North Greenville looking for numbers forward. Here's Brady. Now Lobby. Lobby right at the edge of the box, tries to get a shot in, looking for Lind. Here comes a shot from Lind, cleared away for the moment, and it trickles into the back of the net off the foot of Victor Lobby. Victor Lobby came up with the rebound off the first shot. Goalie had already dove for it, back of the net, almost undefended. 1-0 Crusaders, 32 left to play in the first half. They were able to take advantage and catch Rapogel out of position. So North Greenville will grab the early lead, 1-0. Hey, Those have been re two, really, uh, two really strong players so far for the season for North Greenville. Number six, Johnny Lynn, and uh, number 10, Victor Lobby. They always seem to find each other, and one of them is going to end up with a goal. Columbia International down one. Looks to respond. They've had a couple of good chances. Three corners. But they haven't been able to get anything of it yet. Again, the ball goes out of bounds. North Greenville will get a throw in as Columbia International unable to contain it on the right wing. And now they intercept the pass, and so the Rams will get it back into some open space and try to move it forward. Now look to the left wing, number 18, Arc Ruiz. Let him too far. That one goes out of bounds. And another Crusader throw in. Barely avoids the Ram defender. And North Greenville again looking to get forward. Nice between the defender pass from Inman. And now North Greenville again streaking down the far side, looking for Lobby. Now they flick it out to the far side of the box. Here comes a cross in and a collision on the near side of the box. The ball will roll out of bounds on the near side. And it looks like they're going to give the Rams the ball back as one of their players finally gets up off the turf. Go, 
That was in the net. Almost had the turnaround header. The Rams still passing around in their backfield. Now they look to the left wing as way out of bounds. Well, Scramble looking for a handball, but almost like overshooting your receiver, just way too far and high. Columbia International intercepts the throw in from North Greenville. Now the Rams go back the other way. Nice deflection there at midfield. The Rams able to bring it down though. Move it forward, number 10, Daniel Malay. Back the other way across the midfield stripe, number 22. That is Ren DeSarpio. Now, here comes a quick fast pass. Nice back hill at the middle of the field. Quick flip up looking for Gran Gran DeSarpio. The North Greenville on defense able to knock it away. Inman goes back to retrieve it. Now a collision at midfield. Number 23, Yakovenko draws the penalty, or the foul. And Free kick right outside the box. This is a very good opportunity for the Rams to score. Slightly off center to the left. They're going to have to put some spin on this one. And Greenville will form the wall up, and the Rams will stack most of their players to the right-hand side. Here comes a shot. He's going to go right to Brazola, and he makes the nice save. Reminiscent of Scott Sterling. He'll send it away. So now here comes the car. Put some pressure on the Columbia International defense. Now a couple other Crusaders join the paddle. Lind and Robbie go back. Now Columbia International seizes the opportunity, but that one goes way too far in any attacking run. And Cordy able to retrieve it for North Greenville. Still working it in their backfield. Inman and Sakar close, but not enough to provide any pressure at the moment. So Columbia International goes for another deep pass as they cross midfield. Car and able to knock the ball away. There's a challenge by number 21, Brady. And he forces Columbia International to send it back into their backfield, and now Sakar gives chase. And they're able to get it away, and Lind intercepts that, or Lobby intercepts it and gets it to Lind, who gets it back to Lobby. And now there's Quinn in the middle of the field. He looks to Inman here on the near side. Inman still chasing after it, has a defender on him. 
Ball trickles into the box, and Columbia International able to chase Inman out of bounds and keep the ball in. As now Brady, yes, that was Brady going up against number nine, Tyler Smith. And referee blows, blows his whistle. And they'll give it back to the Rams. Number eight, Ethan Chandler. Midfielder for the Rams. Now Greenville able to contain on that right wing for the Rams. Now they intercept the pass. And Sakar getting forward. Three defenders, though, for the Rams giving chase. Here comes a deep shot into the box and over the crossbar. Off the left wing over there for North Greenville. It'll sail over the net. Off target, no good. Good look, just a little too much mustard. From number six, Johnny Lind. There's Inman, intercepts a pass. Look, get, looks to get it to Quinn. Now Quinn, middle of the field, has Sakar. And now Brady. Vanek tries to get it back to Brady. And the Rams off the deflection end up giving it back to Brady. And now Brady trying to chip it down to Inman, but it'll go out of bounds. Now Crusaders with a free, free kick right in front of the Rams bench. Lobby to take it. They'll stack up on the edge of the box. Here comes a kick curling in. And the Rams able to clear it away for the moment. North Greenville comes down with the, with the possession though. Lobby looks back go, looks to go back into the box. Has Sakar, flicks it to Inman on the near side. Gets it back to Sakar. And a host of Rams defenders able to get it away. And now a mistake by a Rams defender. Lind almost had himself a goal. Here comes Vanek racing in. As the Rams fortunate to get that one away. Also facing pressure from Lobby. I was very close to just giving it up in the box and handing a goal to the Crusaders. Damian Patterson trying to kick it back to his keeper, Rapogel. Almost gave up a goal at the same time. And now the Rams trying to get one man forward. Brazola comes off his mark and makes the save in time. He had a ram right in his face when he came up to field the ball. Rizzola goes all the way down the field to Sakar. Overshoots him by a touch. Picked up by Tyler Smith for the Rams. Rams again on the left wing. Lose the ball out of bounds. They'll get it back. Vanek touched it last out of bounds. Now the Rams looking to go deep down the left wing. It's Lucas Gravely picks that one up. Not out of the woods yet. Rams intercepted again. Jed Blanchett picks it up. And Gravely able to step in front of another pass. Looks to go down the field to Sakar. And now Lynn doing battle with some Ram defenders. Whistle blows on the far side. Looks like another free kick. On good distance, bounces off Sakar. Now Inman breaking free. Here comes a shot by Inman up over the keeper, but Rapogel able to retreat back in time and wrangle it in. Crusaders have had a few good chances at the net after their first goal. Hopefully that continues, and hopefully one ends up in the back of the net for them. Approaching 20 minutes to play in the first. Left in the first half, North Greenville gets the early goal. They lead 1-0. And 
And now here come the Rams as Gravely just slams it out of bounds. Had Inman and Vanek back there as well. And the fourth corner of the game upcoming for the Rams, fourth corner in this half. This will be the second one from this near side corner. The other two have come on the far side corner. One substitution each for North Greenville and Columbia International. Number 27, Hunter, Hunter Haynes comes on. As here comes a corner and this one short, bounces around and out of bounds. Goal kick for Brazola. Just good goal line defense from this Crusader team. Every time they're faced with a corner, they can bounce it out, and they have so far. Asa Wolf was the other substitution that came in, that one was for NGU. And now here's Wolf getting his first touches of the game, near side of the box. Passes back, still on that near side. Here comes the shot in, curling in, and Rapogo able to save that one from number eight. Murillo Mataragia. Now there it goes, down the left wing. Number 16, Blanchett trying to curl it back in. And Cordy comes in to make the defensive save. And he'll be rewarded with the possession. As Rizzola will come out of the box. We'll look to send this one away. Rizzolo sends, Rizzolo sends it down the field. <laughs> Number one, Mateo Rizzola, keeper for North Greenville. Now Seaver's doing battle on that far side against the Rams. Rams once again pass back. Now looking for the deep pass, picked up by Matarajia. Goes all the way back to his keeper, Rizzola. And Brenda Sarpio gives some slight pressure as deflection goes out of bounds on the far side, throw in Rams. Try and get an equalizer. 17 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Crusaders still need to try and work through the field. Most of their attacks have been off throw-ins. They have not been able to work their way up through the field, mostly thanks to the hands of number eight, Ethan Carter, Ethan Chandler, and number 23, Maxim Yakovinko for the Rams, holding down the midfield very well for Columbia International. And now here's a man forward for the Rams. That's Blanchett. Cross sails wide across the net. Maybe a goal kick for Brazola. Looks like two substitutions coming on for the Rams. Alex Hackett and Mitchell Roberts taking the place of, I believe that was Daniel Mallard and Joseph Kelly. Or number 20. Yes, that is Mallard, and number 23, excuse me, Yakovenko. Vanek with a flying deflection. It will go out of bounds. Rams get the ball with a throw in. Communication on the throw in now. Here's on the retry. And that one will be a throw in Crusaders. This bounces off a couple of Rams. Now there's Wolf. And a quick step in by the Rams. Able to get it forward. 
And now there goes number 16 again, Blanchett. Goes to the far side, has a man wide open over there on the right side of the box. Seavers gets there in time and sends it out of bounds. Throw in for the Rams, next to the far side edge of the box. And a lot of contact. We'll keep it with the Rams. It should be a free kick. And they're gonna set it up right on the right side edge of the right side edge of the box from us. So Columbia International with another good look. And here comes across into the box. This one. And just barely missed by a Rams attacker. Just by a few inches, and North Greenville's able to clear it. Number 18, R.K. Ruiz, able to stall North Greenville for the moment by sending it out of bounds. Greenville player gets tripped up, and they're going to call Columbia International for it. Number 18, R.K. Ruiz. The guilty party, so a free kick be taken by Lobby. Off on the near side, so they'll stack everybody just to the left of the goal. Now here comes a cross, here comes everybody forward, hit it up and right at Rapogel. For a save, couldn't see who that was that got a header on it, but Rapogel was ready for it. Rapogel's played very well in the net. The one goal scored off a rebound, so off straight first shots, he has done very, very well for Columbia International. Several, a couple of Rams players calling it for on the right, right wing. They're wide open. Now they finally get it over there. And Quinn intercept, intercepted the pass momentarily. Now the Rams looking to get men forward. Here comes a shot into the box. North Greenville doesn't have enough men back there. Here comes a shot into the back of the net. Looks like number 16. Number 16, Jed Blanchett with the goal for Columbia International. And that is an equalizer, 1-1, with 12.30 left to play in the first half. So Columbia International strikes, 12.30 left to play in the first half. Blanchett will come out of the ball game. And number 24, Josiah Lilly steps in. And that right there was Jed Blanchett's second goal of the season for the Rams. Treating Asa Wolf giving chase. Columbia International can't adjust to the pressure coming from number eight. Masaragia forces the bad pass out of bounds. Vanek comes for the throw in. And that one cleared off a North Greenville defender, so the Rams will get it back in their own, deep in their own territory. Uh, 
Quinn steps in front of the throw in. And now North Greenville trying to strike quick. Nice back heel to Lobby from Lind. Lobby looks to get into the net. Has Wolf open and Wolf chased from behind. And can't hang on to it. It's going to be a goal kick for Replogo. Columbia International went down from being one behind. There's a pass intercepted. And a lot of contact. And the yellow card against number 22, Paul Grandesarpio. Clinging to Asa Wolf's jersey, draws a card. We have a free kick for North Greenville. We'll stack everybody. And Lynn trying to make a run. Here comes the kick in and right to the keeper, a plogal. Handles it no problem. And Seavers able to delay Columbia International as they have we're in a foot race down the right wing. Make some more substitutions here as number seven for the Rams. That is Augustine Arque Ruiz. And number 35 for the Crusaders will come in. That is Scott Selig. Number 22 for the Rams. Paul Grandis Arpio coming off after that yellow card. And Columbia Lucas. International may not want to risk him getting a second one. Lucas Gravely giving a rest for the Crusaders. Nine minutes left in the first half. We're tied at one. And the Rams with their fifth corner, I think this is, in this half. Into the box, high and wide, and it's going to miss everybody. And the Rams are somehow able to keep it in bounds. That's a nice move. Here comes the shot in the box, deflected away, and off the head of the Rams player, Wolf and Vanek, able to send it out of bounds, and again, another corner for the Rams. That was uh, number 27, Hunter Haynes, a junior out of Florence, South Carolina. But that's exactly what high intensity and aggressiveness will get you. And again, there goes the Rams stacking the goal line again. All but four of their players. We've got seven guys on the goal line. Near side corner. Here comes the shot. They'll kick it in. And North Greenville unable to clear it. And the Rams. It looked like another it corner. Off. It looked like it went off of a Ram, Rams attacker, but they'll say North Greenville defender instead. And now they flip back to the far side corner. This the seventh or eighth corner. Just interesting note on that last corner, that was the first left-footed kicker, so they did not get to get the curl from that side of the field. And they'll kick it in again, and a little too far to the right. They'll sail out of bounds before it reaches the right post. And Brazola will end up with a goal kick. So more than a few opportunities get away for the Rams. And North Greenville escape still st still tight at one. <laughs> and now number 11 gets forward for the Rams. That's Roberts. North Greenville able to clear it away, but it gets right back to Roberts. And now they find Lilly. And it ends back up. Now looking to the far side from Roberts. Looking to go number 12. That's Hackett. And 
somehow our Greenville is able to get it away and hack it last touched it, so Crusader ball with a throw in. Wolf brings down the pass. Now North Greenville looking for a deep one. There comes Vanek up. Inches forward to number eight, Matragia. And he's given pressure. Here comes a chip shot of the box right to the Rams defender, though. And Matragia unable to retrieve it. Rams looking for Rams looking for another quick breakaway. Don't get they don't get it. Doug Cordy sends out of bounds. They'll take the throw in quickly though. As Roberts tries to look to the right wing, but too short. North Greenville picks it up. But once again, the Rams right to the ball. Augustine Arcade Ruiz had it momentarily and has it stolen away by a Crusader on the left wing. Now they look deep again to Mataragia. Has a step on his man. And not much help forward, though. And his pass, his shot, rather, is into the side of the net. So that will go out of bounds for a goal kick. Five minutes to play in the first half. Tied at one. Now North Greenville with Wolf. And Mataragia forward. Unable to pressure the Rams. But a bad pass from Columbia International. Sail out of bounds in front of the scores table. And the throw in Crusaders with 440 left to work with. Now Columbia International clears that one away. And number eight, Ethan Chandler knocks it away. Another throw in. And again cleared away. Vanek with a quick chip shot into the box. Now Wolf's turn off the deflection. And several Rams defenders, number two, Braden Elmore clears it away. North Greenville gets it back, but they're going to be called offside. Offside as Johnny Lynn races for the ball, but the flag goes up. And Metro Gia almost able to steal the pass away, but the Rams go downfield looking for Roberts, and the Crusaders able to deflect it away for the moment, but the Rams should take this throw in quickly. They want to get in front before the half. But the Crusaders have responded to the aggression from the Rams, and they're playing more defenders back and pressuring this team so they do not get these fast breakaways that they have been getting. Now Lynn passes off at midfield. They go to the right wing. Maturagia is there and can't hang on to it. And it's going to go out. A bounce. Quick throw in by the Rams. Maturagia frustrating. Frustrated, gesturing toward the keeper as he obviously wanted to go that way. Greenville running out of time before the half. And again, they look down to Matragia. And the Rams able to corral it and pass back to the keeper of Logal as this one's headed straight up. And it comes down at the feet. And here comes a shot from Wolf. And it's going to be deflected. Now, who's it off of? It's off of a Rams defender. Approaching two minutes to play, and the Crusaders end up with a corner. Golden opportunity off the deflection to get a goal. But this attack still isn't over. Crusaders will get the corner kick with just under two minutes to play. It's Lobby. Here comes the shot. Into the box. Sails wide, though. Deflected away by the Rams. Lind goes after it and gets it back. Tries to spin, cut through the defense. And 
and gets taken down by a defender and the Rams will clear it out. Crusader still a minute and a half on the ball. And here's the middle of the field, shot from distance. Wide right. I believe that was Quinn. Sail wide, and the Rams will likely have one more good shot at it before the half. Final minute of play. Plogel looking for a deep kick, and Quinn heads it back the other way. And that's Regia able to bring it down for North Greenville. Now maybe the Crusaders have one more chance. Here's Wolf, and he. Tries to find his man and almost has a goal as it trickles just wide right at the post. The ball went to Replogo's left, but the ball was just a little too far to the right, sailing right past the post. He had uh, Maturagia also open in the box by a step, but started curling right. And now again, almost another chance. Wolf looking to get forward. 19 seconds, and the Rams are going to have to get down the field quick if they want a chance to get the lead. And now here comes their shot. Robert slips, and North Greenville gets to it. Seaver sends it back down the field. Three, two, and one as the ball goes out of bounds on the far side. The horn sounds after one half of play. That will be the end of the first half. It's North Greenville one, Columbia International one. So we'll step away for our halftime break. Tied at one apiece between North Greenville and Columbia International here on the North Greenville Sports Network.
Before we get back, back to uh, soccer action, take a look at some uh, pictures from earlier today. There you see the new softball field that will have artificial turf. And then off in the top right corner, the wonderful new, now in the center of your frame, the wonderful new track complex as North Greenville's track uh, team will compete here at home in Tigerville, a nationally ranked program just about every year. As they're going to waste no time at all getting back underway. But several new exciting projects going on here at North Greenville. We've got a new softball field, new track complex coming in to join the new artificial turf that was laid down here at Pepsi Stadium and Yonts Stadium just behind the press box and the new athletic strength and training center. Not to mention the new basketball facility still in the works as well. Also expecting the baseball field to be restructured or refurbished in the coming years. And bleachers and press box put in place. So now Columbia International will have to defend the left goal, North Greenville the right goal. 45 minutes to try and break the deadlock. Some confusion initially rewarded to North Greenville. Rams call for it and get it. Now there goes Lynn, steals the pass away and forced to pass back. And now that is number 15 going way deep, Cordy. Unable to connect with anybody and the Rams get it. Well, the Rams battle forward and they have a throw in. Lynn comes out, pick that one, tries to find Lobby, out of bounds, North Greenville ball. Lobby able to outspin the defender. Trying to find Sakar, unable to connect again. Here's Lind again. Out races defenders to Quinn on the right wing and cut away over there by a Rams defender. Now North Greenville gives chase. They bat it around at midfield and North Greenville able to corral it back and crawl. And now we'll cross back across midfield here with Seavers and he is able to keep it in bounds. Lind open on the left wing, looking to get it into the box. Trying to outstep the defender, cuts it back. And two defenders collide with each other. He never took the shot. And Columbia International comes away with it. Now there goes number 20, Daniel Mallard. Racing forward for the Rams. Now 23, Yakovenko. Now the ball sails between the defense. Brazil is going to have to come up to handle it. Or else Mallard would have had himself a goal.
Columbia International able to clear it. Severs deflects and keeps it away from the Rams for the moment. Land sends it out of bounds. The Rams with a throw in. Keeper for Columbia National with Pogel trying to get things jump started. The Rams and Yakovinko playing keep away. And now down the, down the right wing, number 27, Hunter Hayes. Now pass down the middle of the field, but they had Haynes open from number eight. Chandler trying to find Haynes, but Rizzola able to field it cleanly. Just sends it away. Six minutes into the second half, still deadlocked at one between North Greenville and Columbia International. Neither team able to gain a discernible edge. And Victor Lobby looking to change that. Gets it forward to Lind. Lind in the middle of the field. Goes it, gets it to Lobby again. Now Lobby racing for the keeper. And Replogle makes a nice save right in front of Lobby. Not to send that away. Replogle still doing good work in the net for Columbia International. A really good performance by both goalies in this game. Doug Cordy defending the left wing against the Rams has to kick a ball out of the bounds to slow him down, let his defense catch up. both these teams. Rams come out of it with the ball with a throw in. Now they're looking to pressure down their left wing. And Greenville able to clear it away for the moment. A mistimed header. Will force the Rams to reset. And now they look to the right wing. They have a man open. Looking to get it forward to number 20, Mallard, but cleared away. And now a scrap right in the near sideline, and Club International bounces it off Johnny Lynn to keep the ball. Able to come back with it with Yakovinko. Now the Crusaders looking to clear it. Here's Sakar, immediately surrounded by Rams, but gets the pass away. And right in front of an outstretched Johnny Land who can't bring it in. Again, out of bounds, back to the Rams. Twenty-two. 
Brenda Sarpio, he picked up a yellow card in the first half. And almost picked himself up a goal as Brazola comes off his mark to clear the weight. And Seavers deflects it away out of bounds. And the corner count continues to grow here into the second half. Seavers playing some really aggressive defense, making sure Columbia International can't even get close to his goal. The Rams will stack the line again. Here comes the cross into the box, headed away and into the back of the net. That's gonna be a goal for the Rams. The deadlock is broken, 35-31. Who got it? Waiting for him to break up the huddle. That might have been Mallard that finally got to it. Hey, let's go, boy! Kind of hard to tell when you got nine guys clustered around the goal line. That looks like a 20. That was Daniel Mallard. Yep, Mallard. Put his head to it and ends up in the back of the net. 2-1 Rams. And now suddenly the pressure has shifted to North Greenville. They have 35 minutes, 20 seconds left to work with. They're not gonna waste any time. Here's the car. Cut away by the Rams. Brady goes after it. And Vanek now after it as well. Now the Rams looking to go forward quickly. And Inman chasing after it. The Rams Keep away from Inman. Now they have to keep, play keep away from Brady. Go out of bounds. Brady does his job. Forces a bad pass. He'll get it back for North Greenville. Here's Quinn. Quinn going down the field. That one cut away by the Rams. North Greenville still having problems in the midfield. And there goes Mallard, but Seaver steps in front of it. And will let his keeper, Brazola, handle it. And a late foul called in, and Mallard wanting a free kick, and Bar Barzola trying to stand his ground. He gets he gets taken down as well. The officials might have a little bit more on their hands to deal with. The official head referee trying to break it up. Barzola held on to. Borzola head on, held on to the ball, and it looks like he's trying to give Columbia International a free kick just inside the corner of the box. So this is going to be a free kick within the box. Almost reminiscent of a women's soccer game where North Greenville ended up getting two yellow cards because, or was that a men's game? North Greenville's wall stands tall, deflects it out, but the Rams not done yet. More on that uh, recap in a moment. Now here comes a cross into the box. The Rams still not done yet. Vanek and Brady finally get it out for North Greenville. Now the ball is loose in the middle of the field. Lynn comes up to get it. Looks to the far side on that right wing. They've got a man open. Inman was there, headed away by number 18. And Guillermo Arca Ruiz back in the ball game. And now the Rams break free again. They try to look to Mallard. Seavers has a step on him, though, and he'll send it out of bounds. Ball goes out of bounds. Crusaders quick throw in. 
Now with some room in the middle of the field. Now they look to go down the field. There's Victor Lobby. He's on side. Lobby chips it into the box over Sakar. But here on the far side, shot over the crossbar. I think that was Emmon on the right wing who missed it by about three inches. Golden opportunity. Replogo was looking dead center at that attack and never looked to his left. Close, but no golden boot awarded. Now the Rams able to find some space. Number 22, Grenda Sarpio. Passes off. Now they look. Number 10, here's Mila. And into the box again. Grandar Cipioa still has it. Deflected away by North Greenville. Now there is 23. Now Kavenko tries to get it into the box. Good defense by Brady. And that shot deflected by Brady as well from Ethan Chandler. The Rams not done yet. Gravely pops it up. And Vanek mistimes his clearance. But the Crusaders able to keep it away for the moment. And there's Inman sending it way down the field. Finds Sakar. And Sakar picks up the loose ball. He has Lind open in the middle field if he wants him. Now he gets Lind. Now they go back to Inman on the right wing. Waiting for some of his teammates to get forward. Here comes Lind. Far side of the box trying to curve it around the defense. And right to Replogel. The keeper who falls down on it for a save. Both sides have picked up the tempo and both sides have become even more aggressive than they have this entire match as we approach the one hour mark. Still 30 minutes left. North Greenville needs one to equalize, two to take the lead back. The challenge goes unrewarded for Lobby against Haynes. Now, there's, now there goes Brenda Sarpio. Now to the right side of the box. Gravely kicks it in right back to Mallard and on the rebound finally clears it out. Throw in for the Rams. Loose it out of bounds. And way out of bounds. And the official will have a, come over to have a chat with Graham DeSarpio. Substitution coming on for the Crusader. Shores Bennett comes off. And number two, David Becerra checks in. Bradley puts a nice touch on it, and they get the handball called against Brenda Sarpio. Here comes Brazola up to handle it. Barzola to send it away. And he is not going back to play his mark yet. He's still staying up. Now he might have to go back as goal kick for Replogel. Now the Rams looking downfield again. Granda, Granda Sarpio, right side of the box, runs into Lucas Gravely, and a goal kick for Barzola. Oh, 
Bartola sends it away. And Wolf goes after the ball, but the Pogo for the Rams able to send it back. Quinn with the header. But unable to do anything further with it. The Rams get it back. Number 21, Damian Patterson. Working with some of his teammates on the right wing. Cordy looking deep down the field, but just in too far in front of Inman will give it back to the Rams. Pringle able to rip it away. And number 11, Mitchell Roberts. He's lost out of bounds again. Crusader throw in on the correct side of the field. Seavers with a throw in. Looks for Wolf. Now Wolf, short cross into the box, right to the keeper at the left post. down the field by the Rams, but it'll go out of bounds for a deep throw in. The North Greenville. Rams will try to box them out. Headed backwards, but right to number 23, Yakovenko, and he breaks through. He's on the right side of the box. Slide tackle by Gravely. We'll get on the ball, and Gravely kicks it out of bounds. Throw in, no corner, though. Great awareness. The ball was on the line, and Gravely was on the ground got up and kicked it through the sideline instead of the back. Walk it off here, Johnny. For a high throw in, right post. And Barzola makes the save. I try everybody to clear the box. See if he throws it or kicks it. He'll throw it to the near side, find Seavers. And almost intercepted by the Rams. Number 16 almost getting into it. This is First time we've mentioned him here in the second half. And Roberts. Flip up and over. Number two from North Greenville gets it over the head of Becerra. But Emin, nice back heel, keeps it in bounds. Looks for Wolf in the middle of the field. Has Wolf. Now they pick it back up, and a late whistle comes in as the defender goes down for the Rams. He's still down, and they'll get it back. Ethan Chandler got hit on the kick from number 33, Asa Wolf. And time will be called. Rams will set it with a free kick. Clotten will restart on the kick. Here it goes. And Barzola has to come up to make a dangerous save almost again getting to Mallard. Three minutes left here in the second half, and North Greenville steals the pass away. Here's Wolf shot up and over the crossbar. Had a look on the run, just went over. 
Gonna wonder if the Rams are gonna try and play it conservative and ride the final 20 or so minutes out or see if they were gonna keep going on the attack. The Rams putting in three subs. Opting for some fresh legs on the field. Maybe to get another attack on the Crusader defense. One of those subs, number four, Abe Vasquez. That pass intended for Vasquez, picked up by Seavers. And Rapogel has to play keep away from Wolf and company as Johnny Land intercepts the pass, goes back to Seavers, deflects off of Roberts to Gravely. Roberts running all the way across the field and finally has to give up as the Crusaders pass it away from him. And that pass in between two different Crusader defend uh, defenders trying to keep it away from the couple of Rams players that were in the area goes out of bounds and the Rams end up getting it back. Now they find Roberts. He's trying to outspin Gravely. Stops for a moment. Passes middle of the field, number 10. Mila. And the kick back to the keeper. The Rams able to keep it away. Inman unable to get to it. Here comes the car. He can't. In between Brady and Inman. And now the Rams on the left wing also on the attack. And the attack fizzles out. They pass back. And a collision at midfield between Chandler and... That was Brady. And the yellow card also came out against the Rams. Against the Rams. Because there go the Crusaders for a free kick. Kick. This one's going to have a lot of distance on it, but headed away from the goal. Now bounce back into the box. Wolf can't get it. Brady with the long shot has it deflected in and goes after it. And it has it ripped away from him by a Rams defender, the other number 12, Alex Hackett. But it goes out of bounds off of Hackett. And here come number eight and 10, that is Matharagia and Lobby. Two substitutions for North Greenville on the field. Under 20 minutes to play. Several Crusader attackers forward, calling for the cross from Seavers, but Columbia International picks it up. And they get the ball back on possession. That official calls for it. Get it back to the Rams. Now they look down the field. Good tackle there by number 10. Lobby picks it up. Now they go far side. Sakar, long shot, and into the net off the post. After two shots went over the crossbar, that one finally hit it and bounced down into the back of the net. That is an equalizer. 2-2. Two -two. Crusaders tie the game with just under 19 minutes to play. Wow. <laughs> what else can you say? <laughs> Andre Sakar showing off the leg. 
picks up his fourth goal of the season. And that leads the Crusader Ball Club. But could that be the shift in momentum the Crusaders have been looking for since going down? You got, you got one, now you gotta do it again. And the clock has not started. Still sits at 18.54. And now it starts. <laughs> Extra time, don't worry about it. Well, now we're supposed to have stoppage time in college. And Barzola has to pick it up from a hard charging Haynes coming after it. And Barzola's gonna hang on to it. Send it away. Wow, lots of air under this kick. Columbia International with the header. Now Brady with the header. And Sakar, Sakar comes down with it. He's on the right wing, passes forward, has number eight. That's Matarajia. And here comes a shot in as time, a whistle is blown by the head referee. And another card comes out. It's a card on the far side. And that, I think that one was against the Rams as well. Did not pick up the number, but Sakara was tripped on his approach to the box, and that's what the card was for. And they're going to set it up roughly in the same spot where Sakara drilled that last goal. This is going to be an important free kick. They'll set it up on the right side of the box. Looks like Wolf to take the kick. Here comes the shot and way high. No chance for anyone. Pogel drills the goal kick. Ravley right back the other way. Popped up by the Rams. Seavers collides with Gravely, but North Greenville fortunate to get away with that one. Now there goes Lobby. Gets it forward to Lind here on the left wing. Lind out jukes the defense. He's into the box. Here's Lind, and he has the shot deflected at the last second. Now here comes Seavers, long shot, and missed the left post by a foot. I don't know how Lind got behind the defense so quick or how the defender even picked him up in time. But the Crusaders themselves, they have picked up the tempo and they are trying to get the go-ahead goal. Sitting at two and seven on the season, trying to get their third win and get some positive momentum. Now here's something, here's Wolf to the middle. Sakar loses it, gets it back. Now to the far side. Here comes a cross that goes over the crossbar. Wasn't sure if you're trying to go for the goal or get it back to Sakar to head it in, but again, missed it by that much. And we remain tied at two. Clock continues to run as the shoe timeout wraps up. But just the exact opposite of the first half, Columbia International practically lived on the Crusader side of the field. Now the reverse is happening here in the last 15, 16 minutes of this game. And now the Rams trying to seize anything they can back. They will have a throw in on their attacking side of the field. This one going long across the field, looking for number four. That's Vasquez. He chased all the way into the corner by Savers and two seconds on the throw in. Here's Lynn. So back hill to Lobby. Gets it forward to Wolf. And Wolf has it deflected. 
And picked back up by number eight for the Rams, Chandler. And Cordy able to step in front of that pass, gets it to Lobby. Now Brady goes way down the field, has a man. That is Maturagia open on the right wing, and he can't keep it inbound. And now Lynn trying to hound his man. And they go all the way to Vasquez here on the right wing. And Vasquez slides, keeps it inbound. As his cross deflected up out of bounds off of Seavers. Actually, no, from what we'll the. Yeah, that should be a Ram throw in. Two substitutions will come on. 16 and 20, Blanchett back in, and Mallard back in. The two goal scorers for the Rams back into the game. Rams gonna look for a long throw in. Here it comes, makes it into the box. Cleared away. Yes, cleared away. Throwing for the Rams, though. North Green will not out of the woods yet. Columbia International going backwards. North Green will give chase, but can't get to the ball in time. Now they will. Here's Lobby, middle of the field. The ball intercepted by number eight, Chandler. And now the Rams will go back the other way. Chandler has been raging havoc in that midfield for the Rams the entire match. And there goes a shot that's bobbled, but a foul called at the last second. Grand the Sarpio on the shot. And a foul against the Crusaders. Number 10. Lobby, the guilty party, will set the Rams up with a free kick with in range. Of the be of the net, dead center. They're gonna line up three potential kickers for it. Now they send one away, so two potential kickers for the Rams. Official signal, start. Go ahead, and here it comes, and this one's gonna sail. High over the crossbar. Goal kick for Barzola. And if they were kicking field goals, it'd be good. Ron Gravely. Ron Gravely is on the field. Great. Wolf brings down the ball for North Greenville. Nobody far enough ahead, and Rams will corral it back to their keeper, Rapogel. Now the Rams trying to go against four North Greenville defenders. Now they bring two men forward from the far side. And they're forced to back away for the moment. Now they try to get it right back in. Here's Grand Sarpio. Gets it back. Now Grand Sarpio right to Brazzoli, bobbles it and somehow brings it back in right before Matt, Matskum Yakovinko can get to it. It's twice he's bobbled it, but he's brought it, both times he's brought it back in. Ball goes out of bounds, Crusaders get it. And the collision on the far sideline. Crusaders get it as One of the attackers goes down, the defense hanging on to him. That was Sakar that went down. He gets back up all right. Crusaders will set it up for a free kick, though. You've got Wolf, Sakar in the box, along with Brady. Now there goes Gravely forward. Lind here on the far, or here on the near side. He can make some noise. 
And here comes a free kick. This one has a lot of distance on it. Headed it up and over the crossbar. That was 40 on the header. Just a little too high had over the, the crossbar. Had the right idea, but the wrong angle. I think that's Cordy down. It is. Asa Wolf and the official over to check on him. And he gets back up okay. 10.49 left to play. We're deadlocked at two. <laughs> Both teams needing a breakthrough here in the final 10 minutes. I think the... Rams have brought their own cheering squad up by 26. Ball lost out of bounds. I think North Greenville is going to set up for a corner kick. As Christopher Walken summons the cowbell. Here comes the cross in. This one's got a lot of distance on it. Cleared out for the moment. Now here comes the shot right back in. And this one headed the opposite direction. North Greenville got to it both, time, both times. Couldn't get the angle right. And now the Rams had a chance for a fast break. We'll instead, slow, we'll instead Try to slowly get it forward, but North Greenville gets it back. I'll send it the other way. Lind gives chase. And Pogle has to get it out of there. He does. Gravely retrieves the ball. Grinda Sarpio going after it, but Barzola gets it away from him. And now Cordy sends it down the field, but Wolf ends up with it. Now he look, he's looking to go to Lynn. Lynn gets to it just in time before the corner flag. Here's Lynn on the left side of the box. Gets in, has his pass deflected, drives back for it, and has it knocked away by a Ram at the last second. Now the Rams will waste no time getting forward. Yakovenko goes to Grandesarpio. Grandesarpio on the far side looking for number two, Elmer. They'll pass back to Grandis Arpio. Here comes a very long shot right to Barzola. It was accurate, but Barzola had plenty of time to set up for it. Eight and a half left. Johnny Lynn twice successfully has gotten deep within the Rams box, but unable to get a shot off. Crusaders get the ball on the far side with a throw in. Rams immediately intercept it. And now a long shot as Barzola was off his mark. And lucky that one went left. Still a little, little too early to be kicking Hail Marys. Crusaders right back to business. Matarigia finds Wolf. Wolf back to Seavers. Seavers to, to Lobby. Lobby into the box with a lot of space. Lobby has it saved by Raplogo. Three times and unable to come up with a goal. Two times for Lind, one for Lobby. Number 10, Daniel Millay. That's three men forward. Now here on the near side, number 27, Hunter Hayes. 
That one deflected out of bounds. will stay off the Rams. Hayes, last one to touch it. Crusaders get a throw in. Gravely looking to jump start. His pass looking for Matarogia short. Picked up by the Rams as Brady. It's a foul caught on him and a free kick. Looks to be taken quickly by the Rams. Now the Rams, after the free kick, Grandisarpio has his pass deflected up, but a foul called against and a yellow card again. Against the Crusaders, this one is. And depending on the spot, they put it, the Rams spot it down just outside of the box. That yellow card might have gone against Gravely. He seems the one most frustrated. And another yellow card. That one against Gravely, number five. That one on Gravely, arguing the first one. Still not sure who that one was on. 15, Doug Cordy. And that brings the yellow card total for the Crusaders up to six with those two right there. Six on the season. Seven on the season. My bad. And now the Rams are going to have one of the best shots here in the late game. Right on the edge of the box. Here comes a shot. And off the post. It's off the post. And out of bounds. The Rams will get it back on a throw in, so they're not done yet. Just a golden opportunity. Got past everyone, just did not find the right part of the net to go in. And Brady is finally able to clear it away for North Greenville. But the Rams again step in front of the pass to try and get it downfield. And now here comes a chip shot. Gravely gets in front of that one. And Becerra hounds the Attacker for the Rams on the far side, but he goes out of bounds and still stick with Columbia International. Five minutes left to play. Long throw in for the Crusaders. For the Rams, into the box. Picked up. Here comes a long shot right to Barzola. No problem for him. And now this one picked up. Here's number 27. That's Haynes. Haynes gets his pass back right side of the box. Looks to get it into the box, and Barzola has to make a right post save in time. Both teams really intense in these final five minutes, knowing the next goal could win this game. Now there's Yakovenko. He picks it up. Out jukes the defense. On a run into the box. Passes back to the middle field. Nice back heel. But it goes unwanted as it's cleared away by Brady. That was Grandisarpio on the back heel. Now he'll get the pass back. Still on that right side of the box. Seavers on defense. Pokes it out of bounds. As both players go down in a heap. And the Rams will get another corner. Corner kick late in the game for the Rams. Here comes the shot, curling into the box. Sails wide, headed up by a Rams player. Headed again by North Greenville. The Rams still controlling the far side. Now across back into the box. That one headed away by Becerra. And now 
now the Rams try to get it back into the box. This one headed on goal. Here comes a shot. That's going to go in. And they slide in. Happy as a lark. The Rams take the lead. 3-2, three, three minutes left. And pile that pile and see who it is. I think that was Mallard again. It was. But this game isn't over. Still three minutes for the Crusaders to try and equalize this again. It's been a really back and forth contest this entire night. Now three minutes to play. North Greenville's gonna waste no time at all. They've already got Sakar in the box. And the Rams will have to get it out. Rams want a handball. Official won't give it to them. Crusaders will have a throw in. Seavers, cross into the box. And nice save by Replogal. Trying to look for Sakar in the box as well as Maturagia. Logo gets rid of it. Seavers heads it back the other way. Deflected by the Rams, popped up by Haynes. And Sakar brings it down. He's immediately pressured by Yakovenko. And a late and a foul comes in against Inman. And a yellow card. Another booking against North Greenville. Free kick for the Rams. 121 seconds left. Seavers on the defense, gets it to the lobby. Lobby will work the right wing, passes forward. He gets it back. Deflected and cleared away by the Rams, out of trouble for the moment. Now here's Gren DeSarpio battling Becerra, trying to turn the edge. Becerra gets the batter of that battle. Cordy picks the ball up. And Cordy's going to go down the field looking for Inman, who can't hang on to it. Now Lobby comes up and gets the ball. North Greenville doesn't get the handball call. Lobby's still in control, though. Spinning to the left side of the box. Passes off to Lind. Gets it right back to Lobby. And now there's Lobby trying to stretch for it. Dumps the pass off to Brady at the last moment. Now a long shot's gonna sail wide from, I think that was Seavers. No, it was not Seavers, but the shot will go wide. Final minute of play. As the Plogo gonna hang on to it as long as he can. Final minute of play. Lobby heads it forward. Rams deflect it. The North Greenville gets the foul call. Now they rush everybody forward. Lobby looking for the free kick. One last shot. Running. Lobby chips it into the box. A lot of distance on this one. Headed away by the Rams. Here it comes back to Wolf. Popped up and away. Who's it going to go off of? It's a ra off the Rams. The Crusaders get it. Lynn's going to have to go back to throw it in quick. Here comes the throw in. Bounced around up a couple of Rams defenders, and Granda Sarpio clears it away. It'll stay with North Greenville. Still no handball call. Everybody wanting it, though. And the Rams are going to clear it away, and this looks like they're going to be able to hang on to it. Now Brazola's way out of the box. Five seconds. Brazola down the field. They're going to have to turn around quick. Here's Lynn Lappy with a shot. But that's not going to be in time. The clock expires, and the Rams, in the 87th minute, break the deadlock and come away with the win, 3-2.
very exciting contest between North Greenville and Columbia International. The Rams pick up their fifth win of the season. They are over 500 at five and four. Meanwhile, North Greenville falls to two and eight on the season. So a most, most needed win for Columbia International, not just for record's sake, but also for, I would guess, their school and uh, down in that area where everybody's still trying to recover from heavy flooding from Hurricane Joe Queen. Just, uh, just really nice to see a good, a good home crowd for them come up for an, an uh, impromptu away game. Just nice for the city of Columbia, just nice for, nice to have something good go for them in the last couple days. So the Rams pick up the win, 3-2, your final score over North Greenville. And our next broadcast will be October the 9th. So in two days, the women's team takes to the field versus Converse. That should be a Conference Carolinas matchup here at Pepsi Stadium at 7. And then football is away at Ave Maria down in Florida. And then we have a triple header action of volleyball when North Greenville will play both Emmanuel and Benedict. The Emmanuel game at one, Benedict game at five. And then if I'm not mistaken, those two schools, Emmanuel and Benedict, will play in the second game in between North Greenville's, ball, North Greenville's uh, women's volleyball contest. So volleyball Saturday the 10th at 1, 3, and 5 p.m. on Saturday. So. Uh, just pull your stream up or pull the ng or pull ngcrusaders.com up. We have a direct link to the Ustream page on there. Just pull it up and leave it open all afternoon. We'll have plenty of coverage of women's volleyball. Then on the 14th, the same way Columbia International comes back to play. One the, the women's game, okay. Yes, women's soccer against Columbia International October 14th at 7. And quite a few home games that week on the 14th. Also, Actually, on the 15th, women's volleyball. That's a Thursday, women's volleyball versus the Warriors of Southern Wesleyan at seven. And then homecoming, an exciting homecoming, that's October 17th, football versus Tusculum at 2.30. And then women's soccer against King at seven later that same day. And then men's soccer versus King at 9 p.m. And then that will round out this week. That should round out this week and next week as all the other games are on the 23rd or later for the month of October. Of course, you can stay tuned for all the latest news on Crusader Athletics as well as check out our web broadcasting schedule at ngcrusaders.com. Thank you for listening to tonight's contest. Unfortunately, North Greenville unable to come away with the win. The Rams of Columbia International University win this ballgame 3-2. We thank you for listening. And this has been the North Greenville Sports Network. <laughs>